What is a social marketing system and how can you use it to achieve the maximum return on investment for your business, making more from every single dollar that you spend on advertising. If you're not yet spending on advertising, then this is exactly what you need to set up before you dive in to ensure that you're not wasting money, wasting time, and spinning your wheels trying to figure out why this is not working. My favorite tool to create this social marketing system is called Go High Level. This is an all-in-one marketing and sales platform. It's gonna give you all the tools that you need to create a really effective system. But just like anything else, this is just a tool and it's only as effective as what goes inside of it and the strategy behind it. So today I want to walk you through exactly what my social marketing system actually looks like and how you can best utilize that to fit your business, increase your return on investment, close more sales, and ultimately grow. Let's go ahead and dive in. My social marketing system is what I refer to as the EPCD system, and that stands for Entry Point, Connection, and Destination. Your entire social marketing system is just a mix of different entry points, different connections, and different destinations. So I created this chart to really illustrate what this looks like so that you can better understand the system that you'll be creating either for your organic leads or through your paid advertising. So if we start on the left-hand side, you'll see it says entry point. This is typically going to start with an ad, but it could start with any other form of outreach. This could be from a networking referral. This could be from an organic blog. It could come from your podcast, but ultimately we're looking at this through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or Google ads. So it also could come from that organic traffic again, but we primarily are using the system to maximize the value of our paid advertising. The main reason for that is if you are just getting organic leads for your business, yes, you can't really scale that, but you did not spend any money to acquire those leads. Because of that, if you don't have a system behind it that is capitalizing on those leads, Yes, you're missing out on opportunity cost, but you're not actually wasting money because you haven't been spending money to generate those leads. When you are spending on paid advertising and you don't have a system behind that, you are actually in a much more significantly dire position because not only are you wasting your opportunities that you are generating through those paid ads, if those ads are even working at all, which is a, another conversation for another time, but you are also wasting the money that you're spending on ads. So you're actually putting yourself in the red. So that is what is so crucial about having this if you are running paid advertising. So we start at this entry point, which is going to be your ads or any form of lead generation. Then we're going to have our connection. So when somebody signs up or takes an action through one of those ads, there then has to be a connection to get them to the next step. Okay, so that is going to look like a high level trigger or a high level workflow. Then we're going to have a destination or an entry point. The reason these could be destinations or entry points is because people could come as a next step or they could actually use this as the starting step if they're finding it organically. So that could be a text message opt-in or a phone call. It could be your funnel. It could be your lead form. It could be Facebook Messenger. Then we've got another destination. That's going to be either a booking calendar for a scheduled call or appointment, or if you sell directly online, it could be the connection to actually allow them to purchase directly inside of the system, whatever that product or service may be. You're then going to have another connection, which is either going to be the conversions API in Facebook to really send that data back to Facebook Ads Manager and to the high-level reporting systems but it's also going to update your pipeline based on what has taken place. 
Next, we're going to have another connection. So once we've already had either a purchase or someone booking in our calendar and they've been updated in the sales pipeline, so we know exactly where they came from, we know exactly what they've done so far and what stage of the process they're in, we then need to send them into an appropriate campaign that will get them to that next step. So if somebody has opted in, but they have not yet scheduled a call, we want to send them into a lead follow-up campaign. If they have scheduled a call or appointment, we want to send them into an appointment reminders campaign. Maybe we want to also add them into an indoctrination sequence, which is really introducing them to your business and whatever that product or service is that they purchase so they know how to use it, they know more about the business, and that's going to prime them for purchasing more in the future. You also could send them into a reactivation campaign if they're a past lead, or you could ascend them to that next ideal purchase based on what it was that they've already purchased or done. After that connection, we then have another destination. That's going to be getting them on the phone, which can be done directly through high level, or it's going to be a video consult, or it's going to be an in-person consult or meeting potentially, or it would be getting them to purchase that next offer or upsell. Once they've taken one of those steps, we're also going to have another connection, which is going to be a high level pipeline update. So again, we want to make sure that any time one of these leads does something in our system and engages in a significant way with our products or services, that we can see that throughout the sales process. That not only is going to make this much more effective and efficient for your salespeople or you as a business owner, but it's also going to allow you to really see the distribution of your leads in terms of the stages of your sales process. If you see that some columns are very, very long where they shouldn't be, at least in comparison to some of the other stages, or maybe given the place that they are within the process, you know, hey, I have a problem at this stage of my process that I need to tweak and refine. So the data that you can find from this is invaluable. If you do not have the proper sales process in place, this becomes a really great opportunity to analyze it and say, okay, what is that first step somebody's taking? What's the ideal next step? What is that ideal next step? What does our follow-up protocol look like? Or what does our purchasing value ladder look like? So that you can really have a visual view of how you can maximize each and every lead or customer. And then finally, our final destination is going to be selling that person from that call, video consult, or meeting, or ascending that person to another step in our value ladder. So this entire process could happen very, very quickly, or it could happen over a significant period of time, depending on the type of business that you have. So for example, if I am running a Facebook ad, I am going to either send somebody to a funnel or a lead form or messenger, or maybe have them text a keyword. So high level is going to trigger a workflow or automation that essentially says, okay, we're bringing this lead into the pipeline. We're sending them to this stage, typically through something like a UTM parameter, or maybe it is that conversions API, if you're using something like a lead form so that we know where they came from and we're tracking that data from that starting point to that next step. Once I get them on that step, so maybe somebody goes ahead and opts in and then they are automatically going to schedule an appointment and then the conversions API is going to send that data back to the system letting us know that, hey, we did get a scheduled appointment from that ad. They're going to update them in the pipeline to appointment scheduled. They're going to go into their appointment reminders campaign. Maybe their call is later that day or the next day. They get on that Zoom call with us. Maybe they go ahead and, and close on the sale. They're updated in the system and they go ahead along their way and now they're a client. So that could literally happen within 24 hours. It could also happen even quicker than that if you are selling directly online. However, some of these leads that even go through that same process, they could take 
six months, a year, two years before they actually close. But by having all these steps in place, you're ensuring that nobody slips through the cracks, that your sales team always knows where to focus, or that you as a business owner understands where you may want to continue to create new products or services that will align with someone's needs given the stage that they're in and based on what they've previously purchased from you. So this system can be used in the short term, can be used in the long term, but ultimately this is the system that I can help you create by utilizing Go High Level for this entire social marketing system. And then all we need to do is get you up and running with your Facebook and Instagram ads or your YouTube ads or your Google ads or some form of scalable traffic so that you can keep this system running, you can keep your pipeline full, you can keep those sales coming in. So hopefully this was really helpful. If you want to schedule a time to talk to us about helping you set this system up, we would absolutely love to. Make sure you go to alliebloydmedia.com, schedule your call there, and you'll actually get to experience our social marketing system firsthand. If you wanna learn more about Go High Level, or paid advertising, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I really hope that if you have any questions, you'll let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.